Could you tell me a bit more about Palamas Wave Power? Yes, Palamas Wave Power is the developer, manufacturer and operator of the Palamas Wave Energy Machine. We're one of the, the longest running companies in the wave power sector. We've been around for 14 years now, which is uh, quite a long time for this industry. Um, so in that 14 years, we've racked up quite a series of world firsts and um, significant achievements um, that that are really kind of unparalleled um, in the industry. So things like um, delivering the, the first electricity into the national grid from offshore wave energy it was in 2004. Um, and now we're working with utility customers and just selling machines to utilities is, well, we're the only company in the sector to have done so. So um, we're kind of world leading really in that respect, which is something we're very pleased to be able to say. And could you tell me a bit more about how your technology works? Um, the Palamas machine is a line absorber, um, which uh, means it's a sort of a series of point absorbers um, along uh, a long length of tubes. So it look, it's well, it's called the Palamas because um, it looks and moves like a, a sea snake. It sort of swims on the, the surface of the water. It floats semi-submerged. Um, and as waves move down the, the length of the machine, um, power is generated at each of the joints of the machine um, via a hydraulic system. So it's hydraulics on board the machine which generates electricity on the machine itself. And is this quite uh, unique in the sector? Um, it is, and the Palamas is the only line absorber currently in operation. Um, so having gone through a, an extensive uh, research and development process we would say that the line absorber is uh, the best concept in our opinion and there are a variety of different devices under development at the moment in the uk and to some extent this is actually a good thing because um, we can you know, learn from our competitors and our sort of associates um, what concepts work best um, and, and at the moment things at Palamas are going very well um, our test results to date have been very positive and, and we would suggest that the line absorber for us is, is the concept that works. You mentioned that you're selling to uh, utilities now, is this mostly in, in the UK or are you looking outside the UK as well? Um, the utilities that we're selling to um, are at the moment, well, we've sold two machines, one to E.ON, and it's the UK sort of branch of E.ON, um, and one to Scottish Power Renewables, um, who are obviously based in Scotland, but um, owned by Iberdrola, who are a, a Spanish utility. Um, we are also working with Vattenfall, who are a Swedish-owned utility, a uh, state-owned, um, and that's uh, working on a, a project off the coast of Shetland. So three utilities. Um, which aren't necessarily from the UK, but we are working in the UK. Um, so at the moment, all of our projects are based in, in around Scotland. And where do you see the Palamas Wave technology going in the next 5, 10, 15 years? Um, well, we have quite a few projects under development, 170 megawatts, in fact, of, um, of Palamas projects um, or Palamas sort of supply projects um, under development uh, around Scotland. So that includes projects that we're actually developing ourselves, um, but also customer and joint venture-led projects. Um, so that's sort of the next few years we'll be delivering these, these sort of pilot-scale projects. Um, in, in future and perhaps slightly beyond that, uh, we'll be looking a little bit larger perhaps <laughs> and then looking at the sector as a whole uh, marine energy uh, where, where do you see that fitting into the global energy mix um, there's a phenomenal potential for wave power to deliver um, a significant amount of power into the mix um, there are areas of the world where you know, there's a fantastic um, wave power resource the UK being one of those areas um, and what we would see is that in future wave power will be one source of an energy mix. So we're not suggesting that in future we will only be using wave power, but wave power works very well as a complementary source, particularly with other renewable sources and alongside conventional fuels, fuel sources for now at least.